Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I am Night Kid Zero, and I want to introduce you today to the only shooter ever made by Squaresoft, Einhander, on the PS1. So let's give it a shot. Now you're going to have three ships to select from. Uh, one right here, you have machine gun pod, or machine gun one, three gun pods. I'll explain this a little bit further, but you'll see uh, as the video progresses. Two machine guns, one gun pod. One machine gun, two gun pod. So, we'll use this one. Now, all your ships, depending on how many gun pods you can use, uh, alter your strategy. And then you'll eventually find one that you like best. They're all good, they're all viable. Alright, and this is the first instance of seeing the gun pods. So, killed that big enemy, took the gun off his back, and now I have free reign to use it. Right there. That's, that's the use of your gun pod. Now, the next, you can switch arms on it with the circle button is going to switch where it's located and it has an entirely different strategy in this form because it has that downward pivot uh, to the aim so picking up the gun pods that A you like and B are um, positioned where you want them is, is very imperative uh, to doing well in this game now see, I want that. Now see, you can also get the gun on the bottom to aim straight with at least with the machine gun by pulling back on the D-pad. But me personally, I like the wasp and the cannon. Welcome to your first sub boss. Now to me, what's interesting about this game, and why I like it so much, the strategy of how to orient your gun pods, which gun pods to have, um, was, there was nothing, oh god, there was no other game doing that kind of stuff in the shooter area, uh, at least to this level. And I think it's a real shame that when you look back in the pantheon of great Square Enix games, especially from the PS1 era, where they're probably most fondly remembered, this game is never in the conversation. Because I, I assume because it's not an RPG, maybe a lot of people didn't. Ah, uh, shit. Maybe a lot of people didn't play it because of its relative obscurity. But um, that's that's a real shame. That's a really, it's a real shame. As someone who's really into space shooters, um, this is one of the best. And, and I can tell you, it, it truly is. Even today, it still stands up. Which again is surprising because of its use of 3D polygons, as opposed to 2D art, which was going on a lot in that era of the Saturn and the PS1 and arcade shooters. But just absolutely no one ever remembers Einhander. The people that do are fanatics about it and they love it because these people are smart. Now unfortunately it is not the cheapest game in the world anymore. Um, news got out to the collectors. Um, oh god, it's Snuffleupagus. The metal version of Snuffleupagus. Um, word got out in the collecting community of just how good this game is. So copies now. Go for it. Oh man. 
I didn't see that. So copies now go for, I believe, close to $60. And I can say that even at, six, even at $60, it's still a remarkable game and well worth it. It's better than most $60 games we get released these days. This game also has some insane boss battles, like some truly terrifying ones. Now there was a demo release for this game, along with one of the Final Fantasies, I think it was 8. Which is, again, probably why no one played it, but no one hates that game. Except me. Um, where, as a kid, I played it so much and could never get past this guy. That, as a kid, I never owned this game. Um, mostly because I, I was a kid and I didn't have a job. So, I had to be selective about what I asked for for holidays and birthdays and stuff. And, um, you know, this was one for me that got lost in the mix. But, I always remembered it. I always remembered it from the demos and the sheer awesomeness of it and was able to pick it up later in life as an adult and haven't looked back. I, I absolutely love this game. And if you're a fan of shooters, uh, you know, space shooters, this is something you need. You need this game. Even if you can only play it, and I hate emulation, but just to try it, everyone should at least try this game. Because it is that good. I don't know if it's available in the PSN network in the classic series. I haven't looked. Um, I'm playing, you know, the physical disc disc version of the game that I have um, that I've owned for the last six, seven years now. And every once in a while, when I want to play a shooter, I always come back to this. I, I do have a, a Saturn, I do have a Turbo Graphics. So I'm not spoiled for choice in the shooter genre. But um Ah damn it. But I always come back to Einhonder. So that may just be a personal thing. Maybe it's the the, the uniqueness of the way that this game is. But truly a great game. And it's always, like I said, it's always overlooked and it was always forgotten. Which is a real shame. So now, this is where it gets interesting, because now I have two uh, gun pods, which means I have no use of my actual machine guns anymore. The nice thing about the cannon is it will pierce through multiple enemies, and the wasp will track enemies. This is one of my favorite setups, truthfully, the, the double wasp. Um, I do love the double cannons as well. But that's part of the awesomeness that, of, of this game. The, just, the game lets you play around with it and come up with the strategy that you like best. And I can't think of any other game that, that does that, at least uh, in such an on-the-fly manner as this.
so I'm going to play a little bit more. I don't want to spend... I, I could spend days playing this game. So it's going to be very hard for me to find when to cut the, the recording out. But... I'm going to get you guys... A good, you know, a good video, good length, good quality. And I really hope that anyone who's out there that remembers and, and loves this game, leave a comment. Start a conversation with me about it. I, I love this game. Maybe there's another shooter that I missed that is as good as Einhorn did. Now I have a bunch, like I said, for Saturn and um, the PC Engine that I will be getting to when um, my situation allows me to get there. Uh, right now, it's kind of hard for me to record on those because they're not really set up somewhere that I can easily get access to them. I do plan on moving soon. And once that's done, um, be able to record everything I own. Setting up a room in the new place uh, specifically for this, uh, this YouTube endeavor that I've enjoyed so much. And I want to take this uh, quick, I was going to say a little low in the action. Um, to thank everyone. Thank everyone who's come out, everyone who's left comments, watched my videos, shared them, supported me. Um, it means a lot. Um, I'm going to keep doing this. Um, wow, I'm getting destroyed by this guy. I'm trying to give a, a lovely thing. Why are you doing this to me? So I'm going to continue to make these videos. Um, as I'm enjoying the process of just playing these games. Son of a bitch! Oh god. Well, he ruined that. Do another continue here. So, like I said, thank you for everyone who's showed me support. And, uh, Leave some games in the uh, comments. Let me know some stuff that you want to see. If I have it, I'll, I'll certainly get jumped on and play it. Certainly play it. Now, if it isn't obvious that this guy has always been a pain in my ass. Ow. If I don't get him this time, I'm going to start one more run with a different ship. the difference between the ship selections. You suck, dude. Ah. Alright, well, I'm not going to continue this. We'll do one more run with a different ship. Um, the ship that I use the most, that I like the most. There was a time in the yeah, we get it. There was a time where... I wasn't completely crafted this game. Machine guns two, gun pods one. This is the ship that I truly like the most. Now as you play through the game, it'll allow you to select what you want in terms of weapon pods, which is also another really sweet uh, feature.
just like most shooters at the time, you do have your speed up and speed down on the uh, triggers there. I prefer to say it, you know, the max, max speed. Um, this is just where I'm a little bit more comfortable because you do have to do a lot of crazy dodging. <laughs> Get your advertisements out of my video for fake products from the 90s. Ah, damn it, I got greedy. Got greedy. Now, if I'm not mistaken, when you have the wasp on the top of the ship, they drag. And if you do them on the bottom, they're just kind of like dump fire rockets to shoot straight. So, another point of the variety in this game, allowing you to use the same weapon in two completely different manners. Damn it! I really wish I was putting on a better play for you guys. Um, but like I said, I, I can play this game for days, and I don't want to do that. So, hopefully the, uh, the comment section isn't too harsh on me for this. But, I'm, you know... I said I love Dine Honda, it's true. I never said I was good at it, which is also true. But you don't have to be good at a game to love it. Oh, he's out of the way. Bring it, metal snuffle up against him. Just unload every ordinance you got. Continue. 
and that's it. Like I said, I, I want to keep playing this game for hours. Piss off, Snuffy. No, I don't know why he roars. Received telegram from Conduct Satellite Hyperion. Order the following operation. The armored trains were discovered leaving the city on their way to the east. Tons Pursue of points. And locate the enemy supply route. This game is tough. This game is very tough.
not going well for me. Normally I am better at this, but not that much. And super helpful because it does pierce through enemies. So much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I couldn't get past stage two. But that's gonna bring us to the end of the best shooter that I can possibly recommend. Ein Honda on the PS1. I'm Night Kid Zero. Thank you for coming by watching this. Please make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you next time.